Victoria Wood fresh from a sellout tour, well, twice nightly at the Victoria and Albert Museum. No, sorry, the Albert Hall. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that, knowing as I do, that you're, you're quite a shy person. There are two people, aren't there? There's the writer who puts herself away and, and writes and comes out with marvellous mm. stuff. And then there's this person. The megalomania. Who, um, yes, who goes out on the stage and sort of says, here I am, I'm a stand-up comic. Mm. Do, do you feel that kind of splitting your personality in a sense? No, I think it's all the same thing. Yeah. So I don't, I don't divide a penny bit of what I do. It's all myself. But I mean, as being a shy person, as you essentially you are, I mean, it must take a hell of a sort of uh, a nerve to go out and do what you do. I mean, 5,000 people at the Albert Hall. Yeah, I can't see them. They're all in the dark. <laughs> <Just there>. <laughs> <laughs> it's, very, it's a very nice venue, the Albert Hall, because it feels quite cosy. But yesterday I climbed up to the roof. And I went right up under the dome and I could look down and see the whole thing. And there was this mesh grid that you could stand on. And the man said, it'll take 20 stone. And he was about 11 stone. I thought, we won't risk it. If we go <laughs> down. And then I could see the whole thing. I thought, oh, bloody hell, it's huge. It's, it's, it's I've never seen it from the top. I've only seen it from the stage. I mean, it's all right for, for rock concerts and for, for, you know, symphonic orchestras. But, I mean, just one person standing mm. there doing stand-up. Yeah, I move about a bit. Well, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a big venue, isn't it? What about the, the touring, too? Because you're at the Albert Hall for another so week or so, yeah. and then off touring. Yeah, I'm in the middle of a tour, and we just put on extra nights at the Albert, and then after that we go to exciting places like South End after that. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> no offence. What is it? Is it the life of hotel rooms, trashing hotel rooms, drugs, and that sort of thing? Is that what happens when you're on the road? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Some, some <laughs> biscuits are eaten. Bis <laughs> <laughs> Pots of tea can be made, you know. I suppose the other thing, too, that happens when you go on the road is that you renew an acquaintance with, with fans, don't you? Because mm. the thing about television is that mainly when you're making a series, mm. you're kept away, you're kind mm. of isolated. Yes. In a then you go on the... On the you're, you're there in yeah, front of them. it's gone mad. Uh, I can't walk the streets, Manchester, Liverpool, Nottingham, couldn't walk anywhere. The people coming up trying to kiss me on their lips. Which I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm married. I stopped all that sort of thing a long time ago. And <laughs> a man tried to kiss me in the Tottenham Court Road the other day. Just came up just yeah, without any habitat. more ado. Yeah, no more ado than that. I mean, you know, with the ease born of long practice, I sort of ducked and dived. But yeah. <laughs> what about women? Do, do they it's more women than men doing the kissing. It is. <laughs> Hey, you know, <laughs> and that sort of comedian. No, but I do get followed around a lot, and, and, and when you are on tour and you're in hotels, you're like, and I'm sitting having a pot of tea at the end of the show, and they come up, and men come up and say, ah, you're Victoria Wood, and they always say to me, like, my wife really likes you. I can't see it myself, and then they go away. <laughs> <laughs> But last time I was in Liverpool, I got mixed up with a lot of weddings, and I'd be sitting in the hotel and with all these wedding parties, they were all completely smashed out of their brains. And I was sitting there, and there was a woman at a table not far away, and she was, she was very far gone. And she was sitting arguing with her family about me. She said, I'm going to go over. I am going to go over. And they said, don't go over, mother, don't go over. And she said, well, I'm going to go over. I've said I'll go over, and I'm going over. And they said, please don't go over. She said, well, I'm going over. <laughs> so she got up and levered herself up off the table. And she came over to my table and she put her hands there like this. And she had this really low crutch and I thought, they're going to fall out. And, <laughs> and we had two teacups like this and I thought, she's going to lean forward, she's going to... She'll stand up, she'll have two teacups on the chest. But, <laughs> so she came over and she said, I've come over. <laughs> she said, they told me not to come over, but I've come over. And then there wasn't a lot more to say. Then she levered herself up and she went back and she said, I went over. <laughs> And there's this marvellous picture of you on all these wedding photographs and people saying that. I know, saying saying, that, who the hell was that? Who was that next to our neighbour? Yeah, yeah, I don't remember it. <laughs> but do, do you think that, uh, you're from the North Country, of course, and, did you, and so the majority seems to me of, of stand-up comedians. Yeah. Um, I mean, do you think you'd have been f as funny as you are had you been in, born in Basildon? No, I'd have been very sad if I'd have been born in Basildon. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> all, all the comedians are from Lancashire, Yorkshire, Scotland, or the North East, or a few Cockneys, but I'm not counting them. <laughs> <laughs> but, but why is that, do you think? I think it's a sort of disrespectful attitude. I think it's a sort of bolshiness and a sort of laconic... It's, a, it's partly a way of speaking, it's partly the vocabulary, it's partly just being very flat and not being impressed by anything, which you need to be to be a comedian. I was once in a chip shop in Morecambe, and a woman came running in and she said, the pier's just burnt down. And this other woman said, about time. <laughs> I was saying in my show, I do this thing in my show about how I can't open... Well, it doesn't matter what. It was about the sex shows in Bangkok. I won't go into the rest of it. Sex but shows in Bangkok? Yeah, I'm just saying I couldn't be in a sex show in Bangkok. Why? Because I'm from Greater Manchester. Oh. You know, Bangkok is the sex capital of the world and Greater Manchester is the chip capital of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why all the sex shows are in Bangkok and all the chip shops are in Greater Manchester. Because <laughs> if all the sex shows are in Greater Manchester, there would just be girls with their coats on with chip pants going, because I'm not in the mood now, leave it. <laughs> <laughs>